Here's a new book I'm sure you'll want to buy and read unless you prefer to just stick a fork in your eyeball for free. The book by Philip Nell is entitled, Was the Cat in the Hat Black? The Hidden Racism of Children's Literature and the Need for Diverse Books. I know, that fork in the eyeball is looking pretty good, isn't it? In a wonderful article over at Newsbusters, Tim Graham delves deep into Philip Nell's philosophy. Nell apparently believes that there may be racism hidden in our favorite children's books, and that if he can ruin our enjoyment of those books, he might be able to pick up a couple of bucks and some publicity without ever having to do anything worthwhile. Thus, Philip Nell asks the all-important question, is the cat in Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat books really a black person? If you answered, no, you knucklehead, he's a gray and white cat, then you may not be an English professor like Philip Nell. You see, Philip Nell is an English professor, and so he has enough free time on his hands to look deeper into the substrata of the Cat in the Hat books. He says the cat's top hat and white gloves show that his character has its roots in minstrelsy, the practice of white performers pretending to be black in order to entertain people instead of writing useless books about the cat in the hat. Now, to me, the question of whether the cat in the hat was really a black person seems simple. If you remember the story, the cat in the hat bursts into the home of two children and turns the place upside down while teaching them the important lesson that it's fun to have fun, but you have to know how. Obviously, if a black person did that, he'd be arrested. So the question answers itself. But Philip Nell also opposes Babar the Elephant. He says the Babar books present colonialism in a good light because Babar becomes more civilized and European and is thus more greatly admired by his native people. This also happened to Gandhi and Bishop Tutu, but they didn't have the funny long noses, so it doesn't count. An article about Nell's book in Time Magazine suggests that we combat the hidden racism in children's books by asking our children some important questions while we read the books to them. like. Whose point of view is this story favoring? <laughs> what kid wouldn't love to be asked that in the middle of reading his favorite book? If nothing else, Philip Nell's book has proved that the cat in the hat was right. It is fun to have fun, but you do have to know how. Obviously, Philip Nell doesn't know how. Or maybe he just didn't listen to the cat because he doesn't like black people. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show.